Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Dorena. Churches can be a good time. You got a bunch of people singing songs, everyone is there to praise Jesus, and there's a priest who's carrying enough wine to get everyone tilted. But just like any other building, churches can get run down, hit by natural disasters, or the devil himself can move in. I mean, if I was the devil, I would want to walk into every single church in the world. It's the one place you're not allowed to go, and once you're inside, you can hear everyone talking trash about you. By doing that, I would figure out each person I'm going to personally torture in hell. Well, the house of God can get corrupted more times than you would think, and that's why I'm bringing you today's list of top 10 scary churches where prayers won't help you, part two. If you haven't seen part one, go check it out now. Rebecca did such a great job on that video. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. It's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts a little bit better. And and without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have the Temple of Amida in Japan. Let's kick off this list by flying over to Japan. The Japanese have some of the best ghost stories in history. I still have scenes from The Ring and The Grudge burned into my brain. Those were perfect movies for me to watch as a 13 year old boy. I remember the girl in the closet who looks like she just got pushed through a trash compactor and then left out in the sun for 8 years. Yeah, when you're 13 and you see that out of nowhere, you don't forget it overnight. Well, this is a classic Japanese ghost story from the Temple of Amida that was built 700 years ago. Legend goes that a blind man was brought to play music for a dead emperor in the graveyard. He was led by a priest, but the blind dude didn't know he was playing music for a bunch of ghosts. The priest would cover his body in protective symbols so the spirits couldn't see him. But one time he brought the blind dude in, but he forgot to cover his ears, so the spirits cut his ears off. Then he died in the graveyard. It's said that you can still hear the blind guy's music playing in the graveyard. Ooh. At number 9 we have the Church of St. Nicholas in Plucky, England. We're gonna jump on a plane and fly over to jolly old England for the most haunted town in the UK. Plucky, England is a place where the hauntings are hot and the people still live there. Everyone knows you can live wherever you want, right? It's not the 1800s anymore where if you try to move to a new town half your family will die and it'll take you a year and a half. Plucky is so haunted that when Halloween rolls around they need to bring in more cops because so many drunk dummies come to the town to dress slutty and see if they can run into a phantom. And in this town is the Church of St. Nicholas, where the spirit of Lady During walks around looking for her dead kid. It's said that she was buried in seven lead coffins, but it didn't stop her from breaking out and haunting the hell out of this church. I don't even think lead does anything to ghosts. I think it's supposed to be silver. They were probably like seven silver coffins? Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Let's use lead and hope for the best. At number eight, we have the Chapel of Bones. Now it's time to head over to Portugal for one of the creepiest arts and crafts projects I've ever seen. Back in Portugal, somewhere in the 16th century, the cemeteries were getting too full. People were dying too quick. So when this happens, they need to dig up all the old, already rotted bodies, take out the dry bones, and then plop the fresh bodies into the hole. Now usually when you got something like this happening, they take all the bones, then make something like the Paris catacombs. But that's not what the monks of the Church of St. Francis wanted to do. They were like, hey, let's take all these dope bones and make a bone house so everyone can bone in it. No, they did build a chapel made of bones, but that's not why they built it. They built this clavicle castle to remind people they were going to die. So they should be good people before they die. They were literally like, you see this? You see this spooky skeleton house? Be a better person! It's made with concrete and using around 5,000 bones. I wonder if that's legal to do today. Like if I built a little dog house made out of bones on my front yard for my dog and to scare kids off my lawn. Could I do that? At number 7 we have St. Andrew's Church in Selkirk, Manitoba. Get your winter coat, we're heading over to Selkirk, Manitoba to check out the Church of St. Andrew's. We're going all over the world with this one. By the end of this video you'll have no excuse not to check out a scary church. Unless you're like me and you're just not going to do that because that's a terrible way to spend your day. Well, the Church of St. Andrews is nicknamed St. Andrews on the Red because if you're lucky, you'll see a set of glowing red eyes in the church. Great, I put on all my nice clothes for church and I just pissed myself. People have also said that they've seen a ghost dude and a ghost lady walking around the graveyard. And my favorite haunting from this church is people have said they've seen a ghost car. What? I didn't know ghosts could have cars. This might be the only ghost with a car. If this is true, this guy for sure bangs. If you're the only dude in the afterlife with a ball and ride, you're getting laid. 
dude. This ghost is probably just riding past the cemetery to pick up chicks. This dude could be driving the only Phantom Rolls Royce Phantom. At number six, we have the St. Mark's Episcopal Church in the UK. Back to England, guys. It's apparently the bell tower of this haunted church that is the hot spot for supernatural activity. Legend says that the stonemason who was building the tower fell to his death before the tower was finished and then started haunting the workers who came to finish the tower. They pleased the spirit by building him his own room in the tower, which is so funny to me. They were like, we know you're upset that you're dead, but we all came together and got you something nice. Here's your room. There's a little bench in it, there's a memory foam mattress, and we know you're a stonemason, so we filled the bookcase full of the best books about stonemasonry. Do you like it? At number five, we have St. George's Church in the Czech Republic. This church is old as hell. It was built in 1352. I'll bet money that this building is not up to code. Well, back in the day when this church was shiny and new, it didn't take long before the people thought it was cursed because fires kept breaking out in the darn thing. People kept going though. In the Czech Republic, they're not afraid of curses. But in 1968, when the roof collapsed on some people during a funeral, everyone decided to stop going to church. Kinda. They held mass outside. These guys really love God. Because there was now a massive hole in the roof, the town folk needed to find a way to fix it. And they did this by playing up the whole curse story of the church. They put in some sculptures of shrouded figures in the church and then turned it into a haunted tourist attraction and raised enough money to fix the church. Oh. This one's kind of sweet. At number four, we have Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health. We're in India, baby, in the town of Velankani, where the site of this church was picked because they saw spirits beforehand. They wanted the church to be haunted even before it was built. Interesting choice. There's several ghosts who have been walking around this place, primarily one of a woman and her young child, who people think is Mother Mary and Jesus himself. People have even said that they've been healed by these ghosts, but I think they're probably liars. At number three, we have the Church of Bones. Another church covered in bones. Bricks must have been expensive back then. Well, this one is way crazier than the bone house. It all started in 1278 when an abbot came to the spot where the church stands today with a handful of dirt. He said the dirt was from the site where Jesus was crucified, and then he dusted the land with it. Then everyone in Europe wanted to be buried there. It was the place to get buried, baby. So there were a ton of bodies there. Then in the 1800s, they wanted to build a church there, so they had to dig up all the bodies, and it was one dude's job to stack all the bones. He made six pyramids of bones from 70,000 people. The bones were later used to decorate the whole church. There's a chandelier in there that has every bone from the human body. At number two, we got Old Rock Church in Texas. We made it to America, where this a little abandoned church is still a happening place. It was built between 1884 and 1886, but shut down not too long after because another church got built nearby. But that didn't stop this place from being a hot spot because apparently ghosts still go there, especially on Sundays. This new church may have had a fresh coat of paint, but the old rock church had followers so devoted they still came to church after they died. People have seen all sorts of ghosts and lights coming from this church, but the craziest haunting that happens there is when people hear a full choir singing. Damn this place is lit! And number one on our list is Church of Grey Fairs. For our first place we shoot back over to England. The Church of Grey Fairs was once the most haunted place in London, but now only the spire stands. And it's haunted for good reason. It's a burial place of the Queen known as the She-Wolf of France. She had her husband killed, King Edward II, by having a hot iron rod inserted into his anus so it would burn his insides. It said you can still hear his screams. When she died, she was buried with her husband's heart on her chest. And on the full moon, her ghost will rise, clenching the beating heart of her dead husband. Yeah, you get killed by a hot poker in the butt and your screams echo out for eternity. That's how you get number one on this list. Well, everyone, that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. Hit up the comments like crazy too if you want a part three of this video, because then we'll totally do it. Also, like I said before, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. Rebecca did such good work on that video. And and follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. It's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts a little bit better. Until next time, I've been Shade Arena, and I'm probably not gonna go to church anymore. Well, I never went to church.